In this video, we continue with simple and compound interest, and we're going to have a look at calculating the I and N values. Example 1. How long will it take an investment of 25,000 Rand to grow to 35,000 Rand if the interest rate is 6,5% per annum, simple interest? This investment starts at 25,000 Rand, which will be the p-value, and grows to 35,000 Rand, which forms our A-value. The interest is 6,5%, which is our I-value, and they've told us that this is simple interest, and that means we know exactly which formula to use. And now we can substitute. The final amount is 35,000 Rand, and the original amount was 25,000. Next, we have our I, which is 6,5%, and we need to divide that by 100, and then we multiply that by N, and that is what we need to calculate. To solve N, we need to get rid of everything else on the right-hand side, and for that, we start on the outside of the bracket. The 25,000 on the outside is multiplied to the bracket, so to get rid of it, we're going to divide with it on both sides. On the left-hand side, we now have 35,000 divided by 25,000, and on the right, we only have left what is inside the bracket, which means we can leave out the bracket. Next up, we then want to get rid of the plus 1 on the right, so on the left, we have the simplified 7 over 5, and now I'm going to subtract 1 on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we are left with 0 0.065 times n. So finally, to get rid of the 0 0.065, I'm going to take the value on the left and divide it by 0 0.065. This will give me an n value of 6,153 years. This means that only after the sixth year you will get to that goal of yours of 35,000 Rand. This will happen in the seventh year. If you want to break this up more specifically in years and months, you will firstly have six full years and then you'll be left with 0, 0,153 of the next year. And to write this in terms of months, I will have to multiply by 12 to get to 1,836. So rounding this off, we will say we have 6 years and another 2 months. In grade 10, we can't yet ask you to calculate the period when it comes to compound interest, because to do that, you need to know about logs, which you only learn in grade 12. Example 2. John invests 10,000 Rand for 8 years. Calculate the interest rate to 2 decimals if the investment grows to 17,200 Rand and the interest rate is calculated using firstly simple interest. So here we have a starting value of 10,000 Rand that grows to a final amount of 17,200 Rand in 8 years. To calculate I, the interest rate, and firstly doing that for simple interest, we will use the simple interest formula. Now we can substitute what we were given, and then similar to calculating the N value, I'm going to start by getting rid of what is outside the bracket by dividing by the 10,000 Rand on the left. On the right, we are left with only the inside of the bracket, which is 1 plus 8 times I. So if we next subtract the 1 on both sides, we will have 18 over 25, which will equal the 8i. And finally, we need to get rid of the times by 8 by dividing by 8 on both sides, which means that i will be 9 over 100. This is our decimal value, but to get an interest rate, we need a percentage and that means we still need to multiply this by 100. So the interest rate will be 9% per annum. In B, we're going to make use of the same information, but now with compound interest, 
which means n is now in the exponent. And again we start by substituting the information and now we can get rid of the 10,000 on the right by dividing with it on the left. But the difference is now that there is still a to the power of 8 outside the bracket which means we can't leave out the bracket yet. To get rid of this exponent we need to do the inverse calculation which means we'll have to take the 8th root on the left. And now on the right we can leave out the bracket because only the inside of the bracket is left. So on your calculator once you've divided by 10,000 you will say shift and your exponent button make it an eighth root of the answer of your division calculation. And finally to solve i I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides and that will give me 0, 0,701. And again to get the interest rate I'm going to multiply by 100 and this will give me 7,01% per annum.